you've got documentation of the MDEQ telling Flint Water that they needed more samples and that as it stands right now, the samples that had already been collected show that there's a problem with the lead? Well, it showed that there en- enough uh, homes had come back with uh, levels over the federal action level, which is uh, 15 uh, parts, parts per, billion. per billion, that they were in danger of not being in compliance at that point. Okay. So, and this is something that was in writing or an email yes. in between them, and you've got that? Yes. Okay. Yep. And so what the city did was go out and collect uh, 30 more samples so, and they only ended up with 71 samples altogether in stage two, is that correct? And, and then two of those were uh, thrown out. Uh, one, because it was uh, a business, not a home. And another one, which is uh, from the home of uh, Leanne Walters and her family, one of the uh, people that's prominent in the What Are You Fighting For? Okay. And, they, and that one showed... I think 104 parts per billion. That was her they first threw, test. And they threw it out. Yes. They didn't they, test her again on the second round, which they were supposed to. But but none of the none of the uh none of her tests were included. None of them. The, and the 104 uh w- was, you know, went from 104 to I think 397. Then there was one showing 707 which she didn't was did never know about. They didn't make her aware of the fact that she tested so high. Uh, on that one, no. And, and they threw those tests out. And Yeah, and they said the reason it was thrown out, the first test, uh, they didn't include the others because they said it was not part of the actual official EPA monitoring uh, program. But the first one, the, the 104 one, they threw out, and there's a little handwritten note on the, uh, the testing results where they said whole house filter. And so because they're looking for lead, they don't want to be testing places, homes that, that have are filtering out lead because it's going to skew the test, right? Except that what Leanne says is that when she did that test, under the instructions of the city, the filter was disabled. So she turned the filter off in order to do the test because they wanted to test how the lead was. Correct. And in the meantime, she doesn't want to have lead, so she's got a filter to keep it out. Correct. Yeah. And then, even though it was unfiltered water that was tested, they threw it out saying she's got a whole whole house filter, even though it's high. Yeah, really high. Unbelievable. Uh, the city had did 30 more tests after getting that email from the MDEQ uh, saying that th- they were in danger of being in noncompliance. Every single one of those 30 houses came in under the limit of 15 parts per billion. Edwards uh, from Virginia Tech did a calculation and said the odds of that happening just randomly are almost zero. Okay. That when you, given how many homes they're finding with lead in the water, for, for them to go 30 straight, it's like rolling the dice and having it come up seven 30 times in a row. Right. You know, the, the odds of that happening are just almost zero. So one of the things that jumped out going through the, uh, the paperwork was that, Within a couple-day period at the end of the second round of, of testing in June of this year, mm-hmm. seven houses on Flushing Avenue were uh, sampled. Right. And so the question is, geez, I wonder what's going on yeah. with, with that. That's, you know, that's pretty odd. It just it jumps out at you. And so on Saturday, I went up there and started knocking on doors. A couple things happened. First guy I talked to said, oh, yeah, um, you know, I think, geez, within the past 10 years or so, uh, they were working on the, the water main here. And I went back and looked at information that the, the city had provided uh, in the response to a FOIA request. And although they didn't ever give me any maps showing where lead service lines are, which leads to the question, if they don't have that information, how do they know? How do they know? Yeah. And we still don't know the answer to that. But what they did have was a map showing projects done in the, in the recent past. Yep. One of those projects was the replacement of the water main going down Flushing Avenue. Okay. So they have a new water main, which means that the corrosion is going to be minimal, which then affects the lead levels. Right. And so 
it looks very much like they targeted at a street. And, you know, these people weren't volunteering to have their water tested. Right. Uh, another one of the residents said, oh, yeah, that's uh, somebody that we know who works for the water department that uh, was the one that knocking on doors themselves, asking people to have their water tested. So it was, it was you know, a deliberate attempt to zero in on that neighborhood, on that street, and that we know that it was a new service uh, water main in that street, which, according to Edwards, if you're, if you're looking to minimize the amount of lead you're finding, that's the perfect place to go to. That would be a good way to do it. Yes. So, um, so, so they, they've gotten a heads up, and I, and I just can't emphasize this enough. They've gotten a heads up. You've got this documentation from the MDEQ. You need to get your samples in. You're running out of time. I've got to have the rest of these samples in. And by the way, the uh, samples that we've collected so far are over the limit. You're going to be out of compliance uh, if we base the results on these samples. Mm-hmm. Of the 30 samples that they get in after this after this um, nudge, mm-hmm. uh, all of them are below the limit, and they dilute the uh, they d- they dilute the results of the first forty, and it ends up that they can show now that they're in compliance. Seven of the thirty that they bring back in are from Flushing Avenue, which has a new main. Do you notice any patterns from any of the other ones? That was the one that uh, that most jumped out, and, and the only one that I, I've been able to really check out. Okay. Although one of the things that they did, which is not necessarily wrong, but you know, they sent out a, a, a memo to city employees saying, oh, we need to have uh, water samples. Can you do it? So, you know, they're having a lot of the samples were from city employees. 